Almost every website at some point needs to deal with media in some fashion. It could be as simple as just needing to upload photos, but it can also get pretty complicated and needing automated encoding to various file formats, etc. In this series, we're going to be taking a look at how we work with media in Drupal using the core image handling system, the media module, and WYSIWYG. We're going to be taking a look at a project for a website called Bandwagon, which is a music fan site. So we're going to need to work with photos and videos to make this project come together. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at our Bandwagon case study, and then we'll go through our implementation plan and see how we're going to tackle this one. So let's go ahead and dig into media in Drupal. So let's take a look at the features we need for Bandwagon. This website is the idea of John and Lisa. Both love music. They love going to shows. Uh, they love listening to music and they're kind of into everything about it. And they have a circle of friends that are all into the same kind of music. And they've been thinking for a while that what they'd really like is a website where they could put that information up and share, you know, videos and photos and their reviews of all the various things with their friends and have their friends have a voice in that place as well. So they've spent some time thinking about what they want. And these are sort of the basic things that we need. First of all, they need to be able to upload images to the site. And we want the images, you know, to, to be nicely formatted so they make sense. So we can have an image that's small in one location, but nice and full sized in other locations, right? So that would, that would make sense. So we could have something like a small image in the, the teaser and then a larger image can display. You can see we also have the ability to upload video. We want to be able to just sort of embed some videos, put them up on YouTube, but we want to be able to get them into the site and not make people go to YouTube to watch all of the videos. And then the other thing that we're looking at in this is making it really easy for people to be able to do these things because their friends don't know how to write HTML and nobody's really interested in learning. So we want to have a nice simple form we want people to be able to select media and like when looking at images, they can also potentially reuse other people's images, right? So we have a library of stuff people have already uploaded and we can use those. And then really important here too is actually to have a WYSIWYG toolbar here, an editor that helps them write HTML without them having to actually know how to write HTML. So how are we going to approach this? Well, for image handling, we have Drupal core comes with image styles. So for our photo uploads in Drupal, there've been a lot of different ways to handle working with images for a long time. In Drupal 7, it's sort of zeroed down to using Drupal core's image module. And then there's the media module which handles a lot of things in addition to photos. But these have become kind of the forerunners in how people are working with this stuff. So now the image module we've en you've encountered with uh, just Drupal Core's article content type, uh, and it provides images for that content type. The media module is a contributed module, and that is going to give us multimedia support, including the photos that we want to work with. And as you'll see in this chapter, it was developed specifically to solve this sort of general media management instead of having individual modules for different things like images and audio and stuff. This is one contributed module package that supports many different media file uploads, images, videos, audio, etc. And it also has a really nice interface for being able to manage and reuse those media assets as well. Now for posting videos, what we want to do is expand media module just a little bit more. So if you take a look at media module, it's a package and there are a bunch of different modules in there. And it, there are also ones that allow you to use services on the web and specifically YouTube. So we just need to expand the media module a little further than its basics and we get video handling just like that, which makes it really easy. When it comes to creating these thumbnails, so here's my large image, but if I go back to my home page, right, I have this little 
thumbnail that's going on in these images here. For that, we can just use Drupal Core's image styles. So we'll use Drupal Core image styles to define those. And then we're going to hook those up with Media Module because Media Module also has a lot of settings for how to handle the files that it's in charge of. And we're going to make those two things work together so that we get exactly the image sizes that we want where we want them. And then for our wonderful little WYSIWYG editor, when we go in to create something new and we want this toolbar to appear up here, we're going to use the WYSIWYG module and then we're going to need to get an editor that we can plug into it. WYSIWYG is a very generic module that provides a framework for working with various WYSIWYG editors. And there are lots of them on the internet. What we're specifically going to be looking at is using this with the CK editor and how we you know, get that plugged in and how do we make the various buttons appear up here so that when someone comes to the site and they just want to write something, they don't have to figure out HTML. Our WYSIWYG editor is going to do it for us. So that is what we're looking to build and uh, it's time to get started and um, get on the bandwagon. Thank <laughs> you.